If I didn't find Kava, I would be really scared for her future right now because she would still be falling behind in school. She would be dealing with a lot of bullying from school still. She was very ostracized by the other kids because of her disability with ADHD. So it was very difficult in regular school for her to get all that. And I was definitely scared for her future at that point. Kava provided a very safe space for her that she can learn and grow and really benefit for her future. Um, I have a fourth grade student who, um, he, his mom called him a bubble boy because he's allergic to everything. He, um, when he leaves the house, he would have to wear a mask and he would have to wear gloves. And in his school setting last year, he was peed on. He was locked in the bathroom by boys and they peed on him. And so his social is, he's just, he was not very social at first. He was very quiet, very timid, afraid of everything, of talking to other people. And now he's one of our most outgoing fourth graders. But I personally can't go through the stress of dropping my child off at school every day and worrying about him all day long and wondering how he's doing and then coming to school to find out that, you know, one more problem has occurred. I've had so many wonderful interactions with families over the years and um, I think probably the ones that stick out the most are, you know, I had a particular student who was really withdrawn and kind of shut down and, you know, middle school can be a really um, trying time for students and um, had come from a brick and mortar situation that, um, you know, they were being picked on and um, really had made him pretty much shut down, where he was not interested in what teachers had to say, what um, adults in general had to say, and even other kids. And um, so I think it was, it was definitely a journey for me to really try and break down the walls um, with this student and get, um, get him to trust me and get him to um, want to be around me. <laughs> and um, I think that moment when I got the first smile and realized, okay, I might be actually breaking down the walls a little bit. And then to see it go from there to now, you know, the student would attend community day on a regular basis and have interactions with other students and just enjoy um, his day, not just um, the drudgery of it, but seeing a, a smile when he actually shows up and gets here. It's pretty rewarding. So, 